future is not done when you're done here at MacArthur either, because uh, you guys going to Baylor together. How excited are you two to go to Baylor together? Um, I'm really excited because, like, um, most folks don't ha don't get to go in like with their friends slash point guard and. Uh, but I'm getting that chance, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see us like at the collegiate level as a duo. Who committed first? Did you commit at the same time, or did she go first? I committed first. Okay, you committed first. Yeah. So were you so were you doing some recruiting at that point, or did you have a feeling she was coming anyway, or what was that like for you? Um, I kind of just let her like, cause I know how my process was, and it was really hard. So it's like. You know, I didn't want to bugger too much on it, but I'd be like sometimes, you know, sick and bare, you know. Yeah, I'll just knock this out. Um, but it's not like that anymore. There are several teams that can win the national championship. Seems like it's a lot of talent's a little more spread out. There are more talented players now. Uh, you've got to feel like you guys, you guys have got a great shot to be a national championship team there. How do you feel about your future, Bayla? Um, I feel like it's really bright. Like, I feel like just the diversity now, um, you know, and girls basketball now is is great. Like I had the opportunity to go UConn, but you know, I wanted to start something new, do something different. Like, and I think a lot of girls are doing that now, and that's what's making it so much more exciting now. You know, you see number one teams getting knocked off, like you know, once at a time, and um, yeah. I just feel like our future is really bright. Why was Baylor the right place for you? Um, it was the right place for me just because what Coach Moki has done in the past years, like with her posts, Kalani Brown, Brittany Griner, Lauren Cox, you see right now, um, just what she's done and develop, developing them as post players, you know, and just that traditional, you know, um, just that traditional like post play and also allowing us to step out, do moves and you see Lauren Cox doing it and Alyssa Smith and just it felt like home. Like the coaching staff, the girls, like they've embraced me and it just feels like home. But how would you describe your game and what you bring to a team? Um, I bring competitiveness. Um, I'm such a competitor. I don't like to lose. Um, I bring fire, energy, I bring scoring, I bring talking on defense, um, and leadership. You know, you, your game has been so well recognized, and you re recently named the McDonald's All-American. What was that like for you to get that honor? Um, it was amazing. It was like, it was really amazing, because it's like everything I worked for, like, pretty much my whole life, like, it's just like, Wow, like wow. Yeah, when you think of all the players who played in that game, including some of these girls behind you yeah. here, and, like what do you think of when you think of that game? I think of the greats, legends, um, on the men's side and on the women's side. And before you get there, obviously you have some uh, business to take care of here at Urban mm -hmm. Mac. Uh, I mean, because go without saying, you guys got to have your eyes on the state title here. Yes. Uh, how do you feel? Like, how do you feel about the rest of the way here with uh, you and Sarah here at MacArthur? Um, I feel like we're going to win state, like that's it. I feel like honestly nobody can stop us, period.